Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern Kitchen back at you today with another video. All right, today what we're going to be doing here today, we're going to be doing another video of, of fried cabbage. I already have two of them up. I have one on my old channel. And I have one up on my channel, this channel here. And the one that I have on this channel here, I'm not too pleased with that because I cooked that with uh, turkey bacon and sauce. And I have more meat in that than I do the cabbage. So I decided to go ahead and do another video. But what we're going to do, we're going to fry these cabbages. We're going to fry them in a big pot. We're going to fry them in a big pot. And when we get them all fried up and cooked up, then we're going to come back and we're going to take them out and we're going to put them into a skillet. But they're going to already be cooked. But I'm going to take them out the, the big pot for you can be able to see them a lot better. So we what we have already done, we had already cut up some uh, uh, one whole onion here. I did that off camera because I ain't want nobody to hear me crying. So I got uh, some smoked bacon here. And I also got some smoked sausage. So we're going to cut them two sausages up there. And we're going to add with our bacon. And I'm using smoked bacon from Country Farm House. Kind of cheap bacon. And, uh, and we already have our cabbage here already cut up as well. Go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and cut these uh, sausages up right here, and uh, then we're gonna switch over to the other side, and we're gonna get this party started. So we we'll go ahead and rinse these off right here. Put them on my chopping board, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice these. Slice these on up. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get our other pot and we're going to put the bacon in first because the bacon going to make its own grease. And then we're going to put the sausage in. The sausage got cut up a little too big. Though. And uh, then we're going to come along with the onions. And I'll show you as we go along how we're going to do this. We're going to put this in this pot here. Put these on in the pot over here. See them right there cutting big, so I'm going to just cut them in half. I'm going to cut them big. I want them to be able to fry and cook good. Hope everybody's doing well today. On this, what the day is? Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, day two. So. Good Lord, have mercy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and turn our stove on. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do first, let me separate this right quick. Let me do some separation. You remember yesterday, I cooked the uh, chicken and oven uh, uh, oven baked chicken and rice, and I had uh, I had a, a, a table no two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder. No, no, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of lemon pepper. But anyway, I had more seasoned than I needed it. And I said, I put it up and said I was going to use it for something else. Well, today, I'm going to use it for this right here. That's why I, when I made it, made more than I needed. But I still cut down on the recipe. Instead of saying two tablespoons, I put, I put on in the description box one tablespoon. So... But like I say, you season stuff the way you like it. But I'm also going to be using that same season in this in this right here when I season this these cabbages. So now I got to wait on my stove to get hot. Wait on my stove to get hot. Turn it on high. And this is the pot that we're going to fry the cabbage in. It's a deeper. And I can get all the cabbage in instead of me trying to fry it in the skillet. So, 
That's why I'm going to fry them in this him first. Then I'm, after I get through cooking them, I'm going to put them in a skillet because you can see them better. But I'm not cooking them in the skillet. Now we're going to go ahead and add our sausage. Since we got our bacon frying good now, nah, we're going to go ahead and add our sausage in there. We'll add them on in there. Let them cook down a little bit. Then we're going to add our onions. Everything in here is frying with bacon grease. Nothing else. So you decide to cook this dish. This is the way I'm doing it. Showing you one way to do it, but there are other ways to do this. And yes, when, let me let me say something to my folks I'm talking to. And when you subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. It's two channels. One is an old channel that I used to have when I first started YouTube. I was doing it with my phone. I don't have that channel no more. But it's still up because I can't take it down because I forgot the password. So I have a new uh, YouTube channel, which is the one that we're, I'm on now. It's the one that has the most subscribers on it. So if you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the one that has the most subscribers. Because if you subscribe to the other one, you won't get notified whenever I download a video. And that right there don't, won't do me any good by you subscribing to that channel. So please do not subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to the one that has the most subscribers. I will deeply appreciate it. So it's frying pretty good here. Yes, sir. Frying him pretty good him, boy. We got this up coming along. Yeah, I'm uh I'm gonna do me a, 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 a old school cake. I'm gonna do a I mean uh, when I say old school cake uh, cake, I'm, I'm going back to the old old days. A lot of y'all young people ain't gonna know about this cake. Y'all ain't never heard of this cake and don't even know what it is. Call it jelly cake. I'm gonna do a coconut jelly cake. I might do it tomorrow. Yes, sir. That's for the older people. It ain't for you young people, because I know you young people don't know nothing about it. And, and, and unless you grow it up in the south. If you grow it up in the city, you don't know nothing about this young. Jelly cake. You don't know nothing about that jelly cake. And I'm going to teach you about that jelly cake. I, my my, my uh, sauce is frying pretty good right now. Yes, sir. Cooking up pretty good. I got the kitchen smelling up. Wait, I put the onions in here. Coming along pretty good. Alright, now I think I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in. Get them to cooking. Get them to cooking. Then after that, we're going to put our cabbage in. Let these onions cook down some. As well, you don't have to keep stirring the pot because you don't want your, your meat to stick to the bottom of the pot. So, let it fry up a little bit. Yeah, we got to be frying up pretty good, y'all. It's looking real good in this pot. And it's frying up real good. When I put the cabbages in, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to flip the the the, 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 the uh, sausages and bacon and stuff. I'm gonna be able to flip that from the bottom and bring it to the top. But then I don't want not really cooking down at the bottom, but the cabbage. So that's what we're gonna. That's, so you'll see how I do it as I flip it uh, and bring the cabbage down to the bottom and the, and the meat down at on at the top. Alright, this is what I did. Keep the camera keep flowing. This is what I did. I uh, put all my meat and stuff to one side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I can dump some cabbage in one side. I put all the meat to one side. 
So I'm gonna put some cabbage on now. Then I'm gonna come back. Then I'm gonna flip this meat that I put to that side on top of these cabbage that I just put on. Flip, flip all your meat up to the top where your cabbage is. You better get just about all of it up there. Just like that there. Then you come back and you put your cabbage on the other side. Cabbage on the other side. Where the cabbage will be on the bottom. The meat will be on, on the top. That's what you want. And that's what I'm doing. So, now I got all my meat to the top. Just like that there. Here's my meat here at the top. Just about all my meat is at the top. So now I let these cabbage on fry here. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and put me probably two tablespoons of vinegar in here. tablespoons of vinegar you don't have to use vinegar but I do I am using apple cider vinegar and then I'm gonna come along remember my season that I had left over from yesterday here it is right here in the bowl the kind of season that I have here I got a um, same season I had yesterday with lemon pepper garlic pepper onion powder Korea uh, 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 uh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Can't think of the name of it. Creole. Creole. Uh, uh, chicken uh, bouillon. And some paprika. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some of this right here. In, in this right here. But you don't have you can season your with salt or pepper. Or whatever kind of season you want to. And as this cook down, I'm also going to put one fourth cup of sugar in here as well. I still got a lot of your season left, so I'm, I'm, I'd be saying this this season help be used. I'd be using this season for a minute. I caught that way too much season yesterday. So we're gonna let this him fry up a little while, and then we're gonna start turning it over and over, and then as it cooks, that's what we're gonna do. So right now it's just frying. Now we're gonna. We're gonna turn these up a little bit here. Then I'm gonna toss. They cook them down. I added a little salt. I ain't add too much, but I added a little salt. Cause that chicken bouillon it has salt in it. So I don't want it to be too salty. So as these are going to cook down some more, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a lid on it. And we'll be back. All right. So we're looking like him. So we're looking like him. Frying up pretty good. Frying up pretty good. Let me uh get me a leaf out of here. See what it tastes like. Hmm. Tastes all right. So far. You know I'm gonna go ahead and put this other chicken in here. Go ahead and add the sugar in here. One fourth of sugar. Cook down a little bit more. Not too much more. Probably another ten minutes. 
it, it, that should be ready. I got me some rice over there cooking. All right, here's our cabbage. Our cabbage pretty much done. Pretty much done. Let me do a channel check. Hmm. I can't talk right now. I'm gonna cook down just a little bit more. They're pretty much done. I'm gonna cook down about about two or three more minutes. Then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them in another pot pan. So you see them better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what we finna do. We finna go ahead and transport these over into this other pan I got sitting over here. So you can be able to see them a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them in this pot over here. So you can see the cabbage a lot better than, than you can just seeing them in the pot. Yeah. So this is what they look like. This is what they look like right here. Our fried cabbage. We didn't fry them in this pan here. I put them into this pan here for you can see it better. Fried them in, in the other pot up there. So just showing you what they look like. They taste very good. If you'd like to try this video, uh, try this main, uh, uh, recipe, just watch it and see how I did it. And you shouldn't have no problem. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel that has the most subscribers on it. Do not please do not subscribe to the other channel that has twenty one subscribers. Do not subscribe to that channel. It's, that channel is obsolete. And uh, put a thumbs up, ring the bell for you to be notified whenever I download download another video. Everybody have a wonderful day and peace.